What are you doing? Just using a spool gun. Well, I've had several requests for some kind of a spool gun video. Well, it just so happened I've got this big aluminum sculpture I'm making. It's a big bell stand with these big aluminum arches on it to hang the bells on. And rather than take it, I thought, cool. So I got a hold of the folks over at Everlast and they hooked me up with a spool gun to fit their Power MTS 251SI, which is their big multi-process machine. So just your basic spool gun. So your spool of aluminum, it just pops inside here. A uh, little one pound spool, so you don't get too much weight. You know, you're trying to just hold in you know, one or two hands here. A little drive roller assembly here. Got your tension adjustment with a little spring on it. And all you do is just push in on that spring and that releases the idler away from the drive roller. And that allows you to feed your wire in. You know, just like with a regular MIG gun, you know, of course you would take the nozzle off the end of it, take your contact tip off, so you can feed your wire through, and then just put everybody back together again. Now this gun is supposed to have an adjustment right here that controls the wire feed. The first time I hooked it up and turned the machine on, that knob actually did something over there. You know, the, you can see the wire feed numbers go up and down as you turn that knob. That worked until I pulled the trigger the first time and it doesn't work anymore. I don't know, need to get a hold of Everlast and talk to them about, you know, really? So on the machine, your, uh, you know, your power lead, your gas line, all that, it all hooks up to where the MIG gun would normally hook up to. Just pull your steel wire back out of the way, get your MIG cable out of the way, your MIG gun out of the way, plug him in, screw him on, you're all done there. And hook up your control lead on the side, just where the other one hooks up to. You're all done with that. And then of course on the control panel, you're just gonna wanna select your spool gun. That's without pulse, synergic, set up, which you're just telling the machine what size wire you have and what type of wire you're using, and the machine sets up the rest of it by itself, and also the pulse setting for the spool gun. Other than that, you just need to put some argon on it. Now, now this kind of goes either way. I've got straight argon because I use it with the TIG. I have heard, but I've never had a chance to play with, 90% argon, 10% CO2. The guys have been telling me, you won't get the smoky look. You know, it, it'll clean up that smokiness in the, in the weld a little bit if you run the 90-10. No, it won't hook up to your Lincoln. It won't hook up to your Miller. You know, you have to have the right gun to go with the make and model of your machine. Of course, if you're handy, you can change how it hooks up to the machine to fit your machine. You'd have to change the wiring, you know, the electrical wiring, so the trigger would work. You'd have to know, you'd have to see a schematic for how the gun is wired, as well as how your machine is wired to see if you can adapt one over and make it work. And I did have a bit of a learning curve. You know, how do the settings are? Because your, your voltage settings and your wire feed settings for a spool gun are not necessarily the same as what you would use for steel. So let me run a little bead. So you look right here, you can see there's a little smoky, you know, a little smoky uh, city kind of effect on there. It just comes right off. So that gives you a quick look at a, at a spool gun, you know, what it is, how it works. I like it, especially for this project, simply because I have so much welding to do. You know, I could TIG all of this. It would take me, you know, probably an extra two to three weeks to do all the TIG welding. And I just don't have that much time. You know, this helps speed things up. It's handy, it's quick, gets the job done. And speaking of work, <laughs> let me go ahead and put my gear back on and get back on this puppy so I can get this grinding done and get back on the assembly portion because I do have a deadline on this one, so working this weekend for sure. You guys just need to do me one quick little favor. Reach down there and hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you all next week.